And now, from Australia, via the UK, the colours of the war! Hello, how are you going? You good? This is the closest I'm going to get to ever being on a catwalk. I just want to do one thing. I just want to do this. I just want to pretend I'm a model for a second. Just do. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be starving. Imagine. Um, hello. My name is Felicity, I'm Australian, I'm sorry. Um, uh, you're doing lovely work for us around uh, the continent. People don't know that it's not you. Um, they're like, are you Australian? They're like, yeah, sure. Anyway, um, uh, I live in the UK and uh, what that means is uh, every time I have to speak to my family, I have to talk to them on the Skype and, uh, oh, the Skype, wow, it's happening. Death is near. Um, <laughs> isn't that the first thing that you, like that's the end, when you start saying the in front of things, just the Skype and the YouTube and the twatter. Oh, I don't... Old people do not know how to use Skype, do they? Fire out anyone over 50, a camera and a button, and they are absolutely confused. They're like, what? How come I can't see me? I can only see me. What? Can you hear me now? What about now? What about now? What about now? What time is it there? Is it cold? It's not cold here. Old people cannot use Skype. I love my mum, but I can't tell you how many hour-long conversations I've just had with her moustache. Just really close. <laughs> and it's blonde, but at that proximity, I really get that she's a mammal, you know? <laughs> like, mum, just angle it up a bit. She's like, is that better? I'm like, that's literally inside your nose. It just, just hold the camera back. Why don't you have any clothes on? What are you doing? She's like, it's my house, I'll do what I want. How do they not fucking know how to use it? It's a camera and one button. That's all it is, that's all it is. How do I, how do I get the camera on? Press the button that looks like a camera. <laughs> do I need an email address? Not just for Skype, but to operate in society. <laughs> The first time I met my niece was on Skype and when she was born, she was so fat. She was so fat. She was like competition fat. She's less fat now, but I still want to roll her in flour. Oh, oh, jolly little fucking little fuck. Oh my God. I don't know how parents deal with the love that they have in their hearts for their children because I didn't give birth to this thing, but every time I see her, I love her so much. I just want to rip a little fucking head off and ah, 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 ah. I won't, because that's murder, and that will put a lot of undue stress on the family. <laughs> Parenting is hard enough, I've heard, but um, this kid is the coolest person I've met, without exception. At her second birthday, she wanted to start the song when the cake came out. I'm like, yeah, mate, you go, you start the song. And so she starts singing, she's two, and she goes, happy birthday to cake. <laughs> now, if you don't like that, I have nothing for you because you have no joy in your heart. <laughs> Happy birthday to Cake is amazing. And of course she thought it was Cake's birthday. She's two years old. Cake is at every single birthday party. <laughs> Why wouldn't she think it was Cake's birthday? And if you're two and you date that, you go, yeah, I'd give that a party every two weeks. <laughs> if everything, anything, adults, this is the first sensible decision you've made. Talking about sensible decisions, I've decided this year to write a stand-up comedy show about mental, uh, mental illness and irritable bowel syndrome because I hate making money. Um, <laughs> get away from me. I don't need to pay rent. Um, I do, I do uh, have a mental illness. I've got anxiety. I was also uh, diagnosed with evolving depression. And it's just nice to have a doctor who believes in you, you know? Like, he had one look at my mental illness and thought, that thing has potential. <laughs> And I have irritable bowel syndrome, which is the sexiest of all the syndromes. Ow, slut drop. And um, <laughs> some of us can do it, some of us can't. It's not a big deal. I could do it whenever I wanted. Um, there's two different kinds of IBS that you can have. I don't have the, I don't have the backed up one. I don't know what that was, sorry. <laughs> I don't have the fisting one. I don't, I, I don't have the back, I've got the other one. I've got the... <laughs> I've got the one where you go, oh, I've got that one. And people get very uncomfortable when you mention the D word. So I came up with a euphemism. Anytime I'm having a, an IBS attack, I just say that I'm having a closing down sale because everything must go. <laughs> and you can use any synonym of 
closing down sale, you can use clearance sale, fire sale, liquidation. Probably should have opened with that. <laughs> I've been Felicity Ward. You have been lovely. Thank you very much for having me.